welcome back to another video we were discussing oxidation reactions so we completed the wear laser oxidation reactions now we will take another oxidizing agent oxidizing agent so that is osmium tetroxide another oxidizing agent that is osmium tetroxide the structure of this oxidizing agent structure is actually as four double bonded oxygen so each oxygen will have a minus two so there are four minus into four minus eight so therefore the osmium the metal in the plus eight oxidation state so that actually indicates that it is in high electron deficient compound high electron deficient molecule now the main purpose the main applications of the osmium tetroxide is to thin hydroxylation thin hydroxylation of alkenes thin hydroxylation of alkenes it actually transverse transverse oxygen atom across the double bond across the double bond on the same side the same side is called syn hydroxylation that is uh, it can transfer to OH group on same side so it's called sin sin means same side so say for example if you take uh, an example so this is a double bond osmium tetroxide it is in the presence of water molecule So you will get the OH, OH. Now the double bond is converted into 1 to diols. 1 to diols. So it's called as a cis diol. Cis diols. So in order to prepare cis diols, one of the powerful oxidizing agent is osmium tetroxide. Now this osmium tetroxide is actually very toxic. Very toxic. So for that purpose we are using co-catalyst or co-oxidates. So in the place of uh, along with osmium tetroxide we are using co-oxidates such as uh, uh, hydrogen peroxide, sodium perchlorite, uh, tertiary butyl, tertiary butyl hydrogen peroxide and N-methyl morpholine ox n oxide n methyl n n methyl morpholine n oxide so these are the co-oxidant so why we are using this co-oxidant in order to regenerate the oxidizing agent that is osmium tetroxide so initially it is in plus 8 oxidation state plus 8 and during the reactions it goes to plus 6 oxidation state so this is with the osmium now in order to regenerate this again to back plus 8 so we can use very little amount of osmium tetroxide in order to convert an efficient amount a good amount of 1 to diols by using co-oxidant that is hydrogen peroxide sodium perchlorate and so on so this is the the function of co-oxidant in methyl morpholine in oxide so another example we can take osmium tetroxide in methyl morpholine so you will get same side the hydroxylations will be carried out and to the same side we call it as uh, cis hydroxylation or so syn hydroxylation so we can take another example h h 
and we are using osmium tetroxide we will get uh, OH OH methyl group methyl group so this is the OH is transferred so you can see there is a symmetry symmetry and this is meso compound it has a plane of symmetry so therefore you will get a meso compound so meso means it is optically inactive optically inactive compound it doesn't rotate the plane uh, the plane polarized light either towards clockwise directions or anti-clockwise directions because of the plane of symmetry so here it has a one chiral carbon atom here it is another chiral carbon atom and uh, here the, the two opposite uh, so this actually rotates the light towards clockwise direction this actually rotates anti-clockwise direction so therefore the net rotations will be zero net rotation will be zero so that is why it's called as optical inactive or meso compound so we can get a lot of examples so before that we can go for the reaction mechanism so how this undergoes reaction mechanism so we have this R R double bond now we have osmium is in the plus 8 oxidation state what is an electron deficient this is an electron rich electron deficient the electron migrates from here so therefore osmium accepts electron undergoes reduction itself undergoes reduction so this will accept oxygen so therefore uh, removes electrons or accept oxygen is called oxidations so alkenes undergoes oxidation osmium tetroxide undergoes reduction so therefore it has plus 8 oxidation state now the lone pair of electron transfer here now due to the interactions produced by electron the lone pair of electron so it actually migrates here and this will attack oxygen because oxygen the electron is driving towards osmium so it drives like this now this goes here now osmium is able to accept the electron not accepting the electron now we will get R osmium double bond double bond now it is minus 2 minus 2 this is minus 1 minus 1 so therefore the oxidation state will be plus 6 now plus 8 will be reduced to plus 6 2 electron will be transferred to the osmium now in the this is osmate ester this intermediate we call it as osmate ester now the osmate ester undergoes hydrolysis reaction hydrolysis reaction the water molecule it is a nucleophile it's electron rich attacks on the metal now this will eliminate let O minus O osmium double bond we have OH OH as a positive charge this negative will abstract a proton so you will get R O OH osmium double bond double bond OH so we have another water molecule so will attack in the same way so this will escape so we will get OH OH in the similar fashion so we will get the product so this is the reaction mechanism of the osmium tetroxide we can take a lot of examples COH osmium tetroxide H2O2 the solvent is tertiary butanol so you will get the hydroxylation 
so this is double bond sorry I've forgotten COH COH another example methyl this is PH double bond osmium tetroxide in methyl in ophelene oxides the structure is actually in methyl in oxide so this is in methyl morpholine in methyl morpholine in oxide say for oxidant now we have methyl group now this is a double bond so you will get OH OH Tetroxide in methyl morphine. So we will get OH, we will get OH, OH. And this is the name of this is glycerol. This is actually glycerol. So we can make a lot of example methyl osmium tetroxide tertiary hydro tertiary butyl hydrogen peroxide tertiary butanol is the solvent methyl group so here we have OH OH So this is with osmium tetroxide.